Hello guys. Today we will discuss about checkboxes. How to add elements on checkbox on click on check of a checkbox. And sim similarly, when we will uncheck that checkbox, the element will automatically remove removed from that array. So here first of all we have to create a spinner on this XML so we can create spinner like spinner match parent wrap content background uh, button drop down and ID We have to declare this on Java Spinner. Uh, we have to import a class Spinner. Okay. Now, how to type cast this? Find v by id r dot id dot Spinner. First of all, we have to create an array here. Array um, list. We have to create an array list of string type. Okay. So pr uh, press Alt and Alt with Enter. So the library will automatically import it. Mm -hmm. No, it was okay. So list new array list. So string type. So what we want? We had we have an array of month. Suppose we have our array of month, so we can create array here, like string array month array, and close this one. You can add items on this array item. We can sort it by sort names Jen, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August. October November and finally this number this is our array okay we have to use this array on the spinner so how to use this so for this we have to create adapter class so we can create adapter class from here new java class and spinner adapter extends array adapter it because it's a string type so this way we have to import constructor simple constructor okay so we have to use this constructor on our main activity so first of all we have to um, create a string month array which we have 
to convert this array in this form and we can pass it here variable contacts it can be equivalent to this one but both are looking similar like you know this is belong to this one so this should be belong to this one or we can use here this keyword dot Similarly, um, this month array should be equal to here. We will create a new string array, it will be month array. It is equivalent to this one. So we have to the main method for setting the drop down elements is get drop down right. So first of all, we have to create instance of layout inflator. Layout inflator. Inflator equal to new layout inflator. No, so layout inflator contacts dot get system service contacts dot layout inflator service. We have to set this layout inflator on this convert view inflator dot inflate. What we have to inflate? We have to set here a view. Okay, so we have to create a examine file. It can be um. Adapter layout, but there should be a checkbox. Checkbox, no background should not be like this. Checkbox, we can set a text here like change. Okay, we can use this. this or to dot inflate the bar dot layout dot this layout we want to inflate and root will be null so we have to Return this convert view here. So first of all, we have to set. We can run. Now we have to set array on spinner. So our spinner name is spinner adapter. Spinner adapter. Here are three variables we have to pass their context, resource, month array. So context, you can directly type here. Resources, Android. And 
Android dot R dot Lab dot and the third thing is get resources dot get a string array get array from string class array dot and there we have to set spinner on this we have to set this adapter on this spinner now we can run the app now you can see the output on emulator by clicking here what we want we want to click on this checkbox it should be added on array we want to add these all checked items on string array right so what we have to do we have to implement here checkbox check listener So checkbox dot set on check change this now. Okay, so you can see what we have to pass here compound button dot on check change this now. So we have to create compound button dot on check change this now. So if this is checked, we, have, we can here if is checked means if checkbox is checked then what we want we want to add string on this array so it should be public static so that we can use this array list using class name list dot add add word we have to add month name why is showing problem is unchecked element should be removed from array so how we will know if element is added or not so we can create a toast we are printing array list and toast okay so now we can run it again this is our main class this way we have called the adapter class from here now you can see on click of checkbox what is happening on click click of april you can see array list july also added 
सेप्टेम्बर एडिट नवम्बर जनवरी ओके नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू डिलीट दिस एरे सो वी वॉन्ट टू अनचेक दिस अप्रैल मार्च जुलाई okay so this is about like how to add element to checkbox